Good morning. Welcome to Bible practice. I'd like to say hello to everybody and uh, wish you a great day with Jesus. And you will have a great day, even if your circumstances aren't all great in this day. If you're looking at Jesus, you're still doing the right thing. And that goes along with the inspiration I'm going to give us today. And you can go to the Bible from uh, Isaiah 41, verse 10, Zephaniah 3, verse 17, and Psalm 34, verse 19. Read those passages and see what the Lord inspires in you, wherever you're at, uh, reading those words. Here's what they inspired in one person. The words say, the world is too much with you, my child. The world is too much with you. That applies to each and every one of us people. We live in this world. This is a fallen world. Okay? And even though we are trying to follow Jesus the best we can, we still live in this world. Our mind too many times focuses on the world instead of Jesus, needs to focus on Jesus first. The world will be right there anyway. But Jesus will be, if we're looking at him, he'll be there to help us with whatever happens. Your mind leaps from problem to problem, tangling your thoughts in anxious knots. When you think like that, you leave me out of your worldview, and your mind becomes darkened. Though I yearn to help, I will not violate your freedom. See, he's with each and every one of us, but he will not violate our freedom. He gave it to us, he'll honor that. Okay. I stand silently in the background of your mind, waiting for you to remember that I am with you. When you turn from your problems to my presence, your load is immediately light, lighter. Circumstances may not have changed, but we carry your burdens together. Your compulsion to fix everything gives way to deep, satisfying connection with me. Together, we can handle whatever this day brings. Praise God and thank you, Jesus. Again, the Bible support for these words were from Isaiah 41, verse 10. Zephaniah 3, verse 17, Psalm 34, verse 19. Read it, check them out. And then sit with the Lord, see if he has inspired some new in those words. So, when I read those things, think about them. It's so true. Um, we get all tangled up in this world. Really, it's not our world. We live in it, but we live here because God put us here. Okay. For a purpose, each one of us. I have mine, you have yours, and everyone around you, within your family and without your family. It's the same single purpose for God. And that's what we have to focus on. And we do. We, I do it. You do it. I mean, I know you do it. As I do it. And everybody I see around me is doing it. We focus too much on the world. We have to start practicing, focusing our whole day on the Lord and just walking through it with Him. It's still, still going to be the same day. Circumstances are going to be there that he puts there. But it, within those circumstances is our teaching what he wants us to learn. It may not be something we like to learn, or it may be a great joy, or it might be just peace. That's his choice, not ours. Our, our direction is to focus our mind on that. Our minds are full up here, focusing on him, think about him, be at peace with him. 
Don't worry about all the things that need to be done in this world, because he has turned to them. Don't blame God for anything bad. He doesn't create bad for you. He only wants good for you. Okay. Have a great day. I got things the Lord wants me to uh, to get done today. And uh, but first and foremost is just to sit with him and be at peace. And walk with him and be at peace. And work with him and be at peace. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. God, you Love you. Peace.